And if you like racing, you like vintage cars, you like motorsports, you like to hear engines all day long and have a really, really good time, you really gotta look up svra.com. Mike came ahead of me with the motorhome because I had some errands to run and I said, hey honey, where do I go? And he said, come across the bridge and find the fat guy riding the bicycle. So I'm getting guided in. What an escort. This is a little video I like to call, how many drivers does it take to put up the bar? And our first arrival. <laughs> margaritas and uh, I've got some new friends at El Bendito Tequila and let me tell you this stuff is really really good thank you guys for introducing me to your brand because it is yummy so I usually get like an organic mix right now I've got uh, tres agaves this is my favorite mix right here stirrings because it doesn't have a lot of sugar and then I muddle fresh oranges on the bottom and then I also put in some fresh lemons and some fresh limes. I just think it makes it taste really good. I just poured a bunch of tequila in here and I didn't measure. We need more tequila. Another little secret. My friend Jackie Slack up in Mountain Falls taught me this when we do Cinco de Mayo party. Put some salt in your margarita batch. I don't know what it does, but it makes it taste better. It just does. Just trust me. Another little tip. Everybody does Grand Marnier. I love Grand Marnier, but you know what? This shit right here is killer. Grand Imperial Orange Liquor. Product of France. Top this baby off with some of this orange liqueur. Bar's open! He's arrived! Back from Porsche testing! I'm not going anywhere, sweetheart. <laughs> the motorhome's over here. <laughs> Margarita Jello shot. Okay. And I'm not, you know, haven't had any yet, so I'll dance for them later. Thank you. Thank you. Jimmy, hi, Mexico. ¿Quieres una margarita? Por favor, que sabor. Sabor es margarita. Margarita. Sabor, solo margarita. Do I need to make another picture? Si, sí, señorita. Si, sí, señorita. Okay, I'm on it, I'm on it. Boys and girls, let me show you how you glamp. Let me show you this shit right here. You have friends that love to glamp. You have friends that love to cook. And you have friends that do a flipping spreadsheet of catering for the weekend. Morning number two at Seabreak with all of our guests. Geiger breakfast sandwiches are quite delish, and then here's Geiger offering <laughs> champagne already. <laughs> this is why I hang out with these people. We glam, glam, not camp, glam. We have full uh, shuttle service as well, <laughs> Mr. Suggs. Then we got MacGyver back here in case anything goes wrong. <laughs>
I like to call racetrack dry cleaning. Very stinky, sweaty fire suit. Wife forgot to bring the backup fire suit. This is what we do. Spray it, baby, spray it. Spray it, baby, spray it. So, uh, night number two at the Featherlight Bar at Sebring International Raceway. Tonight's feature will be bourbons. Skinner's Twisted Old Fashioned is the drink of choice. Mm. We're fans of Woodford Reserve. I also like Elijah Craig. Antica, vermouth. And if you watch RV Roundup, when we were in Wyoming, I did these cherries. We got them in Montana at Flathead while they were in season. We pitted them, we bourboned them. They've been marinating since, what, late July. Got my bitters. My little trick is I throw a little extra of that cherry juice in there, and I also put a whole orange slice. A lot of people just do the zest, but I live in Florida. We have plenty of oranges. I even muddle it around a little bit. It just gives it a little kick of citrus. I like it. Some people that are bourbon connoisseurs might not, but you know, it's my twisted version, with orange or without orange. I've got two in there. So, nobody's to your left, it's not all the way by that zero. I'm driving underneath this thing getting to this point. Oh, no My shit. car is right going underneath that thing, right up next to the wall. Damn. You think it's going to hit the roof. <laughs> and then you're wide open right here, and you come out like towards those bicycles. You feel how rough this is? Yeah. Imagine it at 130 or whatever. Oh, and you're bam, bam. Oh, no they hit shit. these bumps. They still have scrapes. Race. Way far right. Uh huh. Going straight. Right on this line. And you're breaking like a motherfucker right here. All those cars going in there, they hardly. It's hard to make them work. You turn it. Got all the rubber on the curb. Oh, yeah. And a short squirt, flip this apex. The car flies up in the air. Another short squirt. This is a bitch going on down grip. Try to make this straight. Oh, I keep the point right here. Right. Wow, you think those bumps are making lose traction, man? Eh? It's the fastest way. And you're falling ass by the time you get here. Right. Yeah. Right. 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 Just try to get the apex to see where all the rubber yeah. is. No, no, pretty straight. <laughs> you're still wide open right here. You get down here to these cones, and you're at. This is where my brake pedal went to. I'm freaking going, fuck, all I can see is those tires. <laughs> and all the cool pictures I get my trophy room where the front wheels lay off. Right, yeah, yeah. The money shot is like I'm out here. I hit the curb right there. <laughs> it shoots that thing straight. Stay wide open. Oh, really? Yeah. Because I hit it straight, so it keeps traction. Oh, yeah. That's you're turning the wheel and jump sideways. Yeah. Then you're freaking gone. God, I'm on it way over here too far. I gotta get over. Then you're trying to break and get over here. A lot of people walk up the right. See that? Stay all in. You flip this, makes it break loose. If you don't flip it, you slide all the way out on that side. Look at all the rubber of that. Throw it out like that. Man, this is hairy as shit. Wide open. You get to go by those cones. When you get these two rubble strips up here wide open, turning, it's, it's, it's the hair off back of it. Don't get your hat. You just want to be right there because it throws you out here. Uh -huh. And now's when your pucker factor gets really big because you're fucking hauling ass. Right here. 
just if you don't feel like that. <laughs> and then you start the asshole and elbows trying to get that thing low down. Way out here. We cut across here to the gas in. You only be able to get the gas in for like a second. Because then you have another one. You flip that one right there. Uh -huh. Gas it up. Tape it at that one. You got a lint off here. And about the time you hit this, you gas it up for a minute. Then the trick is, this year here, you swing way out here. You know, open turns. <laughs> the problem is when you hit this one, uh -huh. it throws the car. If you're just by spun out right here. But you're all the way out here. Right. Decide to choose every one that starts at 8 frickin' a.m. Stop the madness. 8 a.m. qualifying in races? Why can't you do a group that's like 10? Civilized hour after having a giant party in the infield. So to discuss for next time.
check it out. Hi, yeah. baby. All right, boys and girls. It's the final morning. We've been here since Wednesday. It's now Sunday morning. As you can hear, it's the final morning. We're going to kick it off with an 8 a.m. race. It's been a lot of fun. If you like racing, you like vintage cars, you like motorsports, you like to hear engines all day long and have a really, really good time, you really got to look up the SVRA schedule. It's svra.com because they go almost every week or at least one or two events, sometimes a month, sometimes more than that. And it is just a lot of fun. Um, they've got driving schools that you can get involved in as well, or you just come as a spectator, bring your RV, you set up camp and you just stay. You don't go anywhere. You can plan all your meals like we did with all your good friends. I mean, the way we did it is perfect. We just we grab our RV friends that like to hear the roar of motors and the roar of engines. And we all come up with a spreadsheet of catering and menus. Everybody pitches in. That way, not one person is in charge of some big, huge dinner. And we all leave five pounds heavier. And um, pretty much with the realization that we should not drink alcohol for another week because <laughs> we we did it upright what a great opportunity thanks to all my friends that came and supported us and cooked and oh my gosh just made this such a wonderful glamping motorsports weekend so you want to do it again sometime yeah <laughs> <laughs> all right that means it's all right